Good afternoon, guys. Come on in. Let's spend a little time today on this Friday having some happy hour crafting fun. Art and craft fun. You guys let me know when you're here. My name is Deb with Art and Grace, and I'm so glad that you can join me today. And even if you come along on the replay, put hashtag replay so I know you were here. I am getting shared over into the Craft Around the Clock group. And I know most of you are in there, but if you're not, just go to the description of this video and click the link. You'll be inside the group and see all the crafters back to back. It's just the funnest group. So many amazing crafters. And um, this weekend we're having an event that will be streamed into the Craft Around the Clock group. And I know you won't want to miss that. So mark your calendar, mark your a little alert for seven o'clock central. That's what time I'm gonna be going tomorrow. However, it starts in the morning and goes all day. So just plan on, you know, having some Happy snacks hour. and a drink. So guys, let me turn this down. Ooh, that scared me. Um, plan on having drinks and snacks ready so that you can just enjoy your day with us, hanging out in the comments. I know when I'm not presenting, I'll be in the comments. So I'd love to see you guys there. Hello, Carol. Hi, Sharon. Cindy. April. How are you? Hi, Lisa. Andrea. Christy. Hi, Tracy. Hi, Dana. Woo, that's a lot. How are you guys today? Happy Friday. Happy Friday. I know for a lot of you, because I've gotten a few messages, I know it's been a hard week, but you made it and we're here. We're going to have a little fun. I'm going to show you another simple painting on a little wood surface. This one came from Target. Many of you probably saw this because it came with these little embellishments last season. So if they don't already have it, they'll have it again soon, I'm sure, because I know I saw tons of them. Lots of people loved them, but I just opened it up. I've been using them all year. This thing cost me $3. So I've still got these to use on another project, and then I'm using these for a surface a lot. So it works out great. Or of course you could do your own thing with all of this and just do that. But anyway, this is what I'm gonna paint on. So, are we ready? <laughs> oh, thanks Diana. My son and his sweet girlfriend April went to Alaska and brought that to me with a t-shirt and some other things. Oh, I should've worn the beautiful uh, earrings. Hi Anna, good afternoon to you guys. Hi Leanne, glad you're here guys. And I see some of you have sprinkled me out. I always look for that little man going, you know, thank you for doing that. Hello, Zena. Hi, Carol. Hi, Cindy, Diana, I hope. Hi, Sandra, I've missed you, yes, I, I've missed you. Hi, Dana, Luana, Barbara, Levada. I'm so glad you guys are here. I will go back and look at every single one of you. I always at least heart it to say, yes, you are here, yay, thanks. Um, but anyway, let's get started. Um, I always paint on these little palette, just little papers. So that's all that is. I'm gonna use one of my favorites for fall paintings for backgrounds. It's Payne's Gray. It's a really, really midnight dark, like blue, but has a lot of, I guess, black in it to make it really, really dark. I don't know how much I'll need. I might need a little more. I'm gonna go ahead and put that down first before I do my, um, my design but we're gonna do a cute owl today how do you guys like owls i love them and you know this is uh let's see down on the farm week i had to think of how she what she titled it exactly but it's down on the farm week in craft around the clock we did a cow earlier in the week and we've seen lots of farms and farmhouse items and um oh goodness so many things i painted a rooster in my private group we've had just a lot of fun with this theme because we all love it so if you caught any of those awesome and if not go get in the craft around the clock group and you can see them anytime so if you get bored or you can't sleep you just go in there and put on a video and enjoy and you will relax art and crafts is so relaxing. We all have learned it, just about all of us. I think that's why we're all here, right? And so, anyway, we've had a lot of fun with that theme. And so I decided, you know, I was thinking about a barn, but I did see somebody else paint a barn. So I changed and did a barn owl. We're gonna do this little barn owl. 
and um, I think he'll be super cute. We'll see. You're watching while riding, Shelly Ann? Well, I'm glad you can be here. Glad you said riding, because if I see somebody say driving, I pay. I'm like, no, don't. Don't even have it on if you're driving. Hi, Sheila. How are you today? Hi, Marie. I always want to say Marty when I see your name. I don't know why. My eyes are just bad enough that it looks like Marty to me every time. Glad you ladies are here and any gentlemen that might pop on. Um, would love for you guys to sprinkle this out if you're able. No worries if you're not. Um, I just love spreading what we do with other people who don't you know haven't really been in the habit of watching so anyway i'm just getting this pretty background down do y'all like the color it is like a super pretty dark uh, navy if it's too dark for you and maybe you know in some places it might be a little dark i'm going to add just a little bit of the royal navy and kind of lighten some spots up so that it has a little bit of i don't know just a little dimension to it so it's not one flat color I wasn't thinking when I put that down that really is pretty dark so we'll add a little bit of this pretty blue and lighten up some areas and I'm gonna go ahead I think and do the the inside frame in this pretty blue and I might after it's all said and done we'll see how it turns out but I might even add glass to this one I've been itching to add glass to something this week and I just haven't had the time so maybe this will be it so I'm gonna go ahead and pull these pull this Navy up onto the frame thank you Anna I appreciate you guys it's okay if you can't you know I know a lot of you do this for a lot of people so don't worry if you're like I am maxed out on what I can sprinkle no worries we're just glad you're here I always love to see who shows up you know live and and who watches replays I try to go back even you know if I get a notification then that's even better but sometimes I don't so I just go back and look and we'll see oh so and so watched it a week later that's so cool so thank y'all for that you know every time you watch one of our videos it helps us so it Facebook thinks you know oh well it must be good if they're watching so we appreciate it y'all tell me how your day's going and what you have planned for the weekend I hope that you are healthy and well. I know there's a lot of things going around. A few of the ladies in my group, my private group, are sick and have grandkids that are sick and my little niece is sick and I just wish we could all be well. Hi, Monica. Yes, we do need one, don't we, Dana? I think this will be really cute to add one to with, you know, the owl's feathers and everything. So I did put a base coat down of the multi-purpose sealer. Um, it's just a deco art sealer that you can paint onto wood and it kind of seals it before you paint so that not all of your paint is, well, so that your paint doesn't just soak into the wood and it works really well. Um, if you don't have that, I think you can use Mod Podge maybe in the same way. I really don't. I think of Mod Podge myself as more of a top coat, but um, but a lot of people use it for mixed media so I'm sure it's fine for a base coat but I don't really know so don't hold me to it I feel like I'm gonna get this all over myself hello Lori glad you're here hi Emma glad you're here too I'm glad all of you are here but sometimes when I see you know ones that don't always get to show up um, you know with me live I love I love when you guys come live it's just that that is it's like a choice that you're making and i'm just so like i get chill bumps because i'm so kind of stunned like it's so kind that they want to see what i'm doing and they show up for me like seriously very humbled and grateful for you guys we got to the ten thousand mark recently i'm just kind of stunned still I have a lot of happy mail to mail out so you guys be patient I've said it before it's my worst quality when it comes to doing this stuff I want to send all the happy mail but I have a stack all the time that I need to do okay so we've got our base on 
I like kind of this really pretty blue kind of almost has a little not spooky but you know kind of um, I don't know just a nighttime feel and it is coming on Halloween so you could make this kind of Halloweeny if you wanted to and um, let me dry this real quick when you're painting it's really good to wipe off your brush I see hearts thank you guys wipe off your brush before you put it into the water and you'll get a lot of that paint off so that your water isn't just totally tainted let's see oh thank you Anna so are you hi Tina thank you Rhonda uh, Bella Lena I've been painting I'd say full-time for about three years and before that it was just crafting paintings so nothing nothing fancy just for crafting and my own personal art journal thing like that so you can Donna man that's the only thing that's the one thing I want to say I, if anybody ever watches me and thinks well yeah that's good she knows how to do that but no you can do this you just play the replay back stop it when you need to and then go forward stop it go forward you can do this I never get on here and do anything difficult it's all things you can do so promise 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 and some of the ladies who are in my group or whatever can attest to that that they probably didn't think they could do it and they did it so you can do it okay Oh, Sherry, thank you. This brightens my day. I always say, you know, I, we're supposed to be helping you, but y'all are helping me. Um, and another good thing about these things from Target is they already have, so you can hang it either way. So if y'all see these this year, you ought to grab a few. They're really, really handy. And for $3, you know, you can't beat it. Oh, thank you, Sandra. Okay, so I've sketched out an owl over here. It's, you know, it's okay, but this is what we're going with. It's really the best I can do. So I am turning it toward me to sketch it on here because, you know, I think I'm going to start so I can get this wood base in. I have him sitting on like a wood log. Um, okay, so just need a round face. So if you're watching me thinking, oh, I'll, well, I'll give you the tracer. But if you're thinking I couldn't do that, yes, you can. I mean... I'm showing you it's just a round face and then you just kind of sketch out the body which you know it might take a couple of tries for me uh, but that's okay we can do it and so then you kind of have a little hump back kind of coming down and here it's just kind of curved around I'm just going to come down okay so see we can kind of play with it when, it when we've got chalk it's just chalk so I can erase that hump from the stump see we already have our little base for our owl um, legs they kind of have those long now I'm no expert in barn owls but I just looked one up on the internet and they have long legs so we're going to kind of make the legs a little longer and kind of the round face I'm going to do, you know, the little feathers here, a couple of eyes. I love the big, you know, making them a little oversized. This is a whimsical owl. He's not going to look real, obviously. Okay, how's that for an owl on a little stump? Okay, so there's my little sketch. Not too shabby. Um, you can do it, but I will give you a tracer. But after august 31st i'm not doing the tracers unless you're in my group in my group i always pop them right in there after a live so they're always there um so oh diana i'm so glad you did hi linda shearer how are you today i'm glad you're here see dana heck yes and you're awesome I have, Linda, I am self-taught. Um, I'm like you guys where, you know, if I see something I like, I might take a video tutorial and, um, you know, and paint along with it. But um, for the most part, I think I had to kind of get to my own um, because you're, you'll just end up doing that person's art. I wanted my art. So I really just kind of 
do my own thing and that's why I tell you it is whimsical art not real art you know it's fun art and it's to relax and not to be perfect and not to be technical there are plenty of people that can teach you all that stuff but I am here to show women that we deserve some time to relax and we need that time so start with a little journal or a little mixed media book and just start doing little things like this and before you know it you'll be doing your own thing I love to do flowers a lot for myself and things like that that was fun Christy where is my little there it is okay y'all see the little cup right there um, it says it's fall y'all little cup and stuff in it and some leaves that's what we did last night super fun okay gonna grab a brush I want a round brush this is it this is the one I'm really loving right now so I'm gonna grab a round brush it's a number six by artist loft and I've got some colors out I kind of want this to be um, I don't know kind of neutral ish if, I think I actually want to use an angled brush first. I'm going to use an angled brush first. So I'm going to kind of come in here and just grab some colors. I'm going to grab my white. I'm going to grab this kind of peach color. I'll show it to you on one second. And I'm going to grab some brown. I've got all three on my brush at the same time. I'm going to start at the bottom and come up. And this is just kind of getting some color on this little owl. And we will definitely do more. So hang with me. But I just want to get kind of the a base color going. Now when you have a tracer, you can uh, go around and just paint the blue around it if you want to. But it also makes a great base. Having the, the color down will make a really good base for this owl. So I liked it that way. But I'm just kind of going into each of those colors and getting them all on my brush. And kind of going with the shape of the owl letting the strokes kind of mimic the way feathers would go down like that now I'll have to redraw you know some of these elements but I am going to kind of give it a little bit of feathers here even though I think the pictures that I saw they just had that round face it's a little spooky looking to me like it almost looks like a a round person face do y'all know what I'm talking about I've never seen one in real life I feel like I say that about everything y'all are gonna think man does this girl ever get outside I love outside but I've never seen a barn owl so y'all tell me if you live on a farm or you know exactly what a barn owl looks like please don't judge don't say no Deb that does not look like a barn owl it's just my barn owl <laughs> so y'all tell me if you Yes, Diana, I try to do that. I love um, I love showing inexpensive things to use and you using basic colors of paint. You don't have to buy every color in the sun. I do, but you don't have to. You can just use what you have and what colors match your home. You know, you don't have to. Uh, a lot of, no, I, I don't, some, some uh, artists or or creators you know they have uh, affiliates for things and they want you to purchase you know because it's going to give them a kickback not all but I'm just telling you um, that sometimes that happens I rarely even give y'all a d direct link to my affiliates because it doesn't matter to me what you use I get a tiny tiny portion it's not enough to worry about for me I just you know would rather you guys enjoy art and get started use what you have go get the cheapest you can find that's fine to start you're gonna want to get a little better as you go hi Ann but um, you know you can you can do this with kids tempera paint if you have to it's about the process and what it does for us and relaxing that's what I want you guys to learn okay I am going to add in some colors like I always like to bring in like this blue that we have in our art so I'm going to grab this blue and I'm going to pop it over here and do a little bit with it because I don't want it bright blue so let me bring it over here I'm going to mix a little bit of that kind of peach color with it kind of calm it down a little 
I might even add a little brown to it and just really um, calm it down. Let's just see what we're getting. Let's see. Sorry if that's messing with my mic. One second. Okay. That's a really gorgeous blue that I just made. I could probably never do it again. You see them a lot, Donna. Okay, don't tell me how bad this is, but aren't they beautiful? I love any kind of birds and um, all. That's so awesome you get to see them. Linda, you need to get on in, girl. This the, Our group is open only until the end of the month, which is coming up. So, okay, I'm going to just pop in some of this blue. We will go back over it. Acrylic paint needs to be layered. It looks so much better, in my opinion, to have it layered. So don't be alarmed because we're going to cover over this with some other colors, but we're going to have it poking out in places. So now I'm going to add a little gray. So I'm just going to clean that brush off. I'm going to pick up my round brush, actually, and do a little black and white. Can y'all see my palette? Yeah, you can. Little black and white, not a lot of black. We're going to get some gray going. Let's see. Oh, yes, Mickey. Um, I think I sent you, I did. I sent you an email, and I think maybe a message even, a messenger message. Okay, um, so thank you for helping me though, uh, Sherry, I appreciate that. I've just got the gray on my brush, just some black and white, kind of mixed, and we're gonna come back in here and add some of this. See that just tones that blue right down so you can see it and it blends in with the background, but now we've got this other, because I don't want it just super bright the background has so much color that I'm going to make the owl a little more muted. A little more natural colors. But you can totally print this out for kids and let them go to town. Let them paint it rainbow for, you know, whatever they want to do. That never, never, please never stifle their creativity. So, you know, if they're doing something crazy, let them. If they want a purple owl, let them have it. I've met a lot of people who say that they had an art teacher that discouraged them from something and then they just didn't want to paint anymore. And, and that's such a shame because painting is a fantastic tool that we should be teaching our children and our young people um, because, you know, it's much better to turn to art than to drugs or alcohol. So, um, you know, by teaching them some coping mechanisms and some, uh, some resources they can use so much better and you mix that with prayer like I do and you're good okay coming around and I'm going to make this face a little bit different than the body so I'm using quite a bit of white here and then kind of spreading it in just going around in the circular motion you see that that's all we did. Oh, good, Judy. Linda, uh, my website, and I know one of the girls can pop it in here. Oh, actually, is it, do y'all see it pinned at the bottom? Because I can see it pinned from my end, so let me know. But it's artgracepaint.com, and that's where you can go. I would love to have you guys. You can also try it if you don't know if you would like it. Just come in for a month, that's $18, and if you don't like it, you can cancel. Um, no obligation. Okay, um, let's do some legs. And I'm just kind of mixing my colors here to get, oh, I think I want to add a little brown. Let's add a little brown. I've just mixed up some brown, and I think that will be really pretty. Kind of earth tones, you know, and with that blue, it's going to be pretty. You're just letting the brush. So see why I tell you not to say I can't do it because I'm just literally letting this brush make my brush strokes. So I'm just holding it and just kind of whoop, swiping it and that's it. So yes, you can do this. You just get you a mixed media book 
and um, you want the weight of the paper to be about a hundred pounds or so uh, not less than that or it won't hold the the paint and the water that ne that's needed and then you can practice in that mixed media book okay we need to give it a little wing here so let me finish I was gonna add some feet some so they kind of have long legs I understand so kind of giving him a little bit of longer legs than I normally would have and we'll come back and do the feet in just a second so for this wing hmm, let me think what do we want to do we could make it um, maybe some blue more blue I don't know I can't decide oh Tracy okay I saw that we had a presenter after me that is not feeling well I'm so sad about that um, so yes Tracy I'm happy to tell me uh, you know what time you want me to go till and we will just continue on and add some resin and glass that'll make this really pretty so um, we have the best group with craft around the clock Tracy's our leader she's amazing I cannot do what she does I've tried it it's hard work but she is amazing at it um, and it's like a sisterhood you know you you support each other I'm sorry guys I have to turn this to me to get this wing to not look super wonky I, I don't think I could have done the shape upside down okay um, but anyway you know if somebody's sick there's always somebody that'll pop in and say I can do it let me help you you know you rest and man that's how it should be just total support for each other okay so got a little wing in here do we want to do more blue I can't decide I think I do but let's just try it we can always go back over it if we don't like it just little brush strokes till you like the look and if I don't like it I can go right back over it with another color but I kind of like it what do y'all think we'll have to do the face okay good Tina you like the glass art oh wasn't that cinnamon roll amazing it, it made me so hungry for one which is bad because now I'm gonna want one until I get one <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're moving out of Texas oh, oh you moved wait mid-June you moved okay oh my terrible Texas accent Ugh. oh Michelle thank you I think most of us are doing it for the same reason we just we love you guys we want you to try what we love and um, and Tracy's a great leader like I said so we we love the group and okay I'm gonna go in here and give a little bit you know do some eyes so let's see what color we want to do for the background I think I like maybe a tan so I'm just gonna mix some white and some brown I've already got stuff on my palette can y'all see I'm just gonna kind of go with it so it's got a little blue in it that's okay the more I mix the more it will get to be a solid color so just some brown and white is really what I am picturing here and I'm just going to do a little circle for each eye. It gets really quiet when I'm trying to make a circle or some type of shape that I don't want to mess up. How's that? Are they somewhat even? <laughs> yeah they are <laughs> so about a nickel size thank you Donna oh Debbie thanks <laughs> oh thank you Patty how are you today I hope you're doing good teamwork makes the dream work so true oh Elevina or wait Evelina I love that name thank you so much that's so sweet it made you hungry Linda <laughs> Did somebody give me stars? Thank you. I didn't see it, but I will go back and thank you. I appreciate that so much. Does help, you guys. Okay, so we got a little bit of background for the eyes. Let's do his feet. Because now that Tracy said, yes, take more time, I don't want to, you know, go crazy or 
we still won't finish. So, oh no, I need to do the log. Hello, log. So I'm looking for a flat brush or a angled brush. I guess I'll wash this one. I also like to show in my group, um, you know, minimal brushes. You don't have to have all the brushes for this type of art. Now it's really fun and I've got a lot of, you know, like you got filbert, you have angled, you have uh, round, you've got scrub brushes and uh, rake brushes. I'm looking for that rake, you know, these type, but you don't have to start with all that. You just start with a simple basic pack and you're good. New Braunfels, yes. Leanne, thank you. Was that you? Oh, no, there's somebody else. Well, thank you guys. I appreciate that so much. Okay, let's do this wood. Now, for wood, I'm going to show you an easy process that I do. Just get, getting some brown and some white, and we're just going to get a log on here. Y'all doing okay? Should have done that log first. I don't know what I was thinking. I really wasn't. So, but anyway, you can you can always come back and add it. But it is. I'm, in fact, I'm just going to go right over the legs because we can totally. It'll be much easier to get the look I want if I can just not worry about those legs. So we will put them back. Just a little whimsical stump here is all we're doing. There we go. Stars party, Christy. Well, thank you. Oh, Shelly, you're amazing. Thank you for saying that. Oh, thanks, Barbara. Well, you know, this is all whimsical, so I wouldn't say it looks like a real log, but it you know what it is, and that's the point of fun art and, and carefree art is everybody knows what it is. They're going to look at it and go, oh, that's cute, and that's all I want. You know, I don't, I'm not here to try to be a, a fine artist. I'm here to say this will quite possibly change your life. It really did mine, so I know it can other people's as well helps with stress and anxiety, helps you going through hard times, uh, gives you a community for support and for friendship. And, um, you know, that is life changing. So that's just really what I'm about is helping people realize that. And, and I've said this a million times too, if, if I'm not your person, there's plenty of people that you will find like in the Craft Around the Clock group that that would fit what you're looking for so okay that's good now let's add back in his little legs get a little more white so yes Barbara it so is I'm gonna grab my round brush again thank you Mindy I appreciate every last one of you who are giving stars I see that we have a bunch thank you so much and I promise I'll go back and thank you um, it's very, very appreciated for sure. So you see that I'm kind of going right on top of this wet paint. You know, if you want to wait, you can. But for time's sake, I'm just kind of getting some of this on, getting the legs on here. And I said I wanted them long, so let's do a little bit longer there. And I am going to add just a little bit of 
the blue to this too to kind of carry on that theme that we have of running the blue through the owl a little bit. Okay, you will see? Let's get feet. Aw, oh, Jeanette. Hey, it's okay. I'm totally okay with that. I mean, it could be my voice. It could be, you know, sometimes I think, um, I mean, I annoy myself like when I listen to it back. So it's okay if, if you know, if I'm not right for somebody. It doesn't bother me. Um, okay, so I'm mixing some black and some brown just to get a good dark brown. I don't really want it the same color as the log, but I didn't really want it black. So this is just a dark brown. Um, and then we're just going to add in these feet. Or, uh, I don't know, toes. I don't know. What, what do you call these? Talons, maybe? <laughs> is that right? Talons. Thank you, Catherine. How are you today? Deco, oh gosh. Is it, oh gosh. Will you put your business? Deco Digital Designs. I'm afraid to say it. I don't know. I'm going to mess it up. Um, okay, so kind of thicker and then get thinner. Talons, okay, or claws, yeah. Okay, Catherine, come, Kathy, come back in and tell us your business or come back in as your business so that I can say it correctly. You have the prettiest designs and ideas for those designs. And she's going to be in my private group soon. I'm super excited. I'm excited personally and for my girls, you know, for my ladies that are in there. Uh, because she's going to teach us some cool stuff. Digital Deco Designs. Okay, you're welcome to come on here as your page. I would ask every one of you to go follow her. She is fantastic, has beautiful work, beautiful designs, and you know, it. you just can't go wrong to follow somebody like that. And then I'm just bringing on a little bit of what I'm just calling tip to the end, like, you know, like the little toenails, basically. Sorry guys that I don't know technical terms. I'm sure that has a technical term, but we're just gonna draw those in. There we go, can y'all see? Okay, let's do some more to the eyes. I am going to probably grab a smaller detail brush. So this is just another smaller detail brush out of that set. It's considered a shader and it's a number two, but it's just small, so it'll work great. Um, I don't know that these owls have yellow around them, but I know some do. I'm going to go ahead and put the, oh, yay, Christy, thank you for telling me. Thank you guys for the stars. I appreciate it more than you know. I really, really do. Um, it, it really does help people like me. Oh, good, Dana, or, Dana, you are on a roll, girl. I can't wait to see what all you create. Okay, so let's do this yellow around the eyeballs. We'll have black in the center. I don't know that this type of owl has that, but I know some do. So we're putting it because I just think it's pretty. Just a little ring of yellow. And now we can just go in with our black. Oh no, I'm so sorry, Christine. Listen, um, at the end of the month, now it may be a while before you get it, but at the end of the month, I'm giving away everything I've done this month. We're gonna send it out. It's to say thank you for supporting me. Thank you for the stars. Thank you for getting me to 10,000. Um, so somebody will get this. Now, it may not be perfect because you know everything I do upside down is gonna be a little wonky, but at least you'll know that I appreciate you. OK. 
Okay, good enough. And then let's do a nose. Thin black circle around the yellow. Okay. Thank you, Evelina. If y'all have ordered um, digital deco designs, let me know what you ordered. Christine, are you asking me? Um, I try, I've been trying to post a schedule for you guys at the beginning of the week and I try to pin it to the top of my page because it's different all the time. I don't have a set day and time like a lot of people. I um, have some major back issues that just doesn't let me uh, pre-plan. So I give a schedule, it's pretty loose. I could have to, you know, change or cancel, but I am trying hard to, um, to work it to where I don't get in a really bad spot again. So a little thin line of black around the yellow is coming up. I will be live tomorrow at 7 p.m. Central, and that will be 8 p.m. Eastern. I'm in a group, Are You Falling Me? Y'all have probably heard of it because we've been posting about it, and it is going to be shared over into Craft Around the Clock. So uh, it starts in the morning, I want to say real early, and... Tracy Campbell will be kicking it off so you'll want to be available this weekend as much as possible but um, of course you know you can catch replays it's just that once the week starts over again there's new ones you're gonna want to see so it's hard but it'll be a great event it will give you so much inspiration for fall it's all about fall so this isn't perfect. I'm kind of not happy with my little black line around here, but I'm going to keep going and uh, add a couple of details to this little guy. So I'm going to get a tiny bit of white on, on this detail brush and go over the top of this. Let's see if y'all can see. Very small amount, but it will give this little talon, I guess talons, whatever, a little highlight. And then let's give a little definition to the little feathery things up here. This is really their ears, I believe, because I believe they lay flat. And then when they're alerted, they kind of come up. Somebody tell me if that's right. It's Craft Round the Clock. And I do have it linked in my description. Craft Round the Clock is the name of the group. And, uh, and I will be, it'll be live on my page and then they share it into that group. Oh, thanks, Anna. They do, Myra. Thank you. Okay, let's do the little beak before I forget. How are we doing on time? I'm just going to grab some brown and kind of do a triangle here. I've done a few owls before and I like them kind of long. So just a little long triangle here. Oh, kind of messed that little piece up, but but no worries. We're going to fix it and go on. So just kind of mess up. Just keep going. It's good. Critter picker uppers. Those are called little critter picker uppers. <laughs> oh, okay, Leveda. No problem. No problem. And I always upload my videos to YouTube because I think they're easier to find. So don't tell Facebook, but um, you know, over on YouTube, you can literally just kind of get them all in a line and, and look real quick. And I have them grouped into spring, summer, fall. So I think that helps. So to me, it's a lot easier. It's, it's one o'clock. Okay. It is, Barbara. Okay, I think we're good on this. I'm just kind of looking from here to see if I want to give a little more definition to the um, either the wings or the face. Um, we could actually add a little grass down here at the bottom. Let me just grab a little green real quick. It won't take two seconds. Okay, okay. I was wondering, Tracy, can you give me a time or are you telling me just take you know, literally 
like is there nobody until the next spot is that right um i don't want to take too long or too but i think you're telling me yeah i'll just go for it okay so i'm mixing just a little bit of black with my kind of army green color and that's going to darken this up real well you can also use brown to darken it and that will be my base color for my grass and i'm just going to come in here with this angle brush and pop in some grass and i'm going to come right over the top of it with the lighter green and just kind of let those blend together okay gotcha tracy thank you i'll be happy to kind of we'll do some glass art on top of this and that will be fun to see i'm just coming in with that light green right on top and just kind of going across the bottom of this wood is all we're doing i'm bringing it down onto the base of this because i just like doing that i like bringing designs around to the side if i if i'm working on a canvas and just kind of looks cool okay i see something i want to fix on his little tail so over here see how it it's on the little side so we're just going to make that part of the design here by kind of bringing that on down so then it doesn't look like a mistake or anything like that it just kind of is the rest of the tail Ooh, i like this color i've got it's kind of a taupe i'm going to actually bring a little bit of that in here kind of give it a line with it i'm doing it real soft around the face but we can kind of line it with that taupe okay see what a difference that makes just just little subtle difference to add that line and kind of outline i'm grabbing a little tiny bit of blue putting that down there so it just carries the design right on to the side here I think we're looking good. What do y'all think? You see anything I've missed? Thank you. Oh, Tarita, thank you. Thanks, Joyce. Appreciate you guys. You like his eyes, Diana? Okay, the only other thing I might add is a little like feathering up here to the eyebrows. So let me grab, I kind of like that taupe. I might grab that taupe again if I can. Let me see. And I'm going to have a light touch, but just kind of feather it out. And we can always go over it if it's too much. But kind of like eyebrows in a way, you know what I mean? Just some feathery look up there. Yeah, I like that. I think it needed it. You know, the owls typically have kind of that harsh look with an eyebrow going across or something. Thank you, Patricia. So that, I think it needed something right there. Okay, I'm pleased with it. Now, let me dry it real good to be sure it's all dry, and then we will do our resin. And Christy, let me know if you're still here and available to time me, and if not, we'll have somebody. Thank you, Debbie. Thanks, Doris and Barbara and Lori. I will give you guys the tracer for this um, when I'm done. And just remember, though, that August 31st, they're only going to be in the VIP group. I really want to spoil them for being in there with me. And um, so that's where the tracers will be. So if you're not in that group, please consider it. It's only $18 a month and you get so much. I'm going to touch up where I kind of... I don't know if I touched down with my hand or what I did right there, but you can easily clean up any mistakes, but honestly, I don't really care too much about that stuff. 
it's kind of a rustic, you know, whimsical thing. I don't need it to be perfect. Thank you. Oh, there's Christy. She's got it. Thank you, Melissa, though. I appreciate it. And I don't ever want to take Christy for granted. So, Christy, if you ever are like, I'm tired of doing her time, then just tell me. <laughs> but Christy is my ride or die. She is always here and always willing to help me. And I just appreciate her. Tell you what I think I want to do. I do want to do one quick thing. It will not take two seconds, but I do want to give a little more highlight and shading to my greenery down here. I'm going to come in here with black on the tip of a brush. Watch the difference, guys. Watch the difference uh, between, you know, the one side I'm doing and the side that's not. So I'll just do half of it right here to show you. So that was, you know, obviously the black. And then I'm going to dip into some white. Actually, what I like to do for colors, I'll take the white with a little bit of that green and make kind of a really light green and highlight with that. So it's not white, white, it's green, white. But it adds a lot to have um, the highlights and a little shading to your grass. Y'all see it? Thank you, Lori. Ooh, awesome, Dana. We need to do some crushed glass in our group because I actually was going to show y'all how to break it and stuff. Um, okay, that looks better. I might even add a little bit of line to this log. Just kind of a whimsical line, if you will, and a little bit throughout. Just Okay, now that's good. Maybe just a quick, quick little line right there to kind of shade that one side of his nose. Okay. Okay, let me dry this and we will do the glass. I'm excited to do the glass. Got my resin. I've got my little butane torch. I've got a cup, a stick, a toothpick, I need gloves, all while drying my owl. <laughs> Y'all here? Okay, thank you. Yes. You want, you want it totally dry before adding resin is why I'm just making sure that everything we just did is totally dry. Okay. So when you're doing resin art, you always wear gloves. Always, always wear gloves. Don't do it if you don't have gloves. Just wait till you can get some. Um, if you ever purchase a kit from me, I include everything you need. So the, the gloves, the toothpick, the cup, the stick, everything's in there. Um, you've got a hardener and a resin, and it's one-to-one. -one. So if I use half an ounce, I'm going to use half an ounce of this. So it's always one-to-one. Uh, -one. You're going to take your cup, and I like to actually mark it before I start, before I ever touch the resin. I'll go ahead and mark it. I'm going to do, hmm, I think I'm going to do a fourth of an ounce of each. So that will be half an ounce total. I don't know. I might need a little more than that. Let me think. Because I don't really know what size this is, but it's probably, let's do a, just a little more. I'd rather have a little more than I need than not enough. And I always recommend having um, something that you can resin real quick, like, you know, maybe another piece you've done recently or an ornament, uh, because that way you don't ever waste, but that's okay. If you don't have something, then, you know, 
and time is what helps you know how much resin there is a calculator on the art resin website and it will tell you how much to use but I'll just be honest and it, it tells you a little more than what you truly need um, and that's so that you can get a really nice good thick coating but I personally don't like the thick coating I like it thinner and I don't want it to now this actually is perfect because it's not going to run but if I was doing this on a canvas which would be turned to this say this was your canvas and I did a really thick coating it's going to run all off the sides and onto my table and get messy I would need to tape this really well so I just prefer to do a thinner coat it's still beautiful and um, and still covered great so let me grab some glass I'm gonna grab brown, I'm gonna grab white, I am gonna grab, this is like a champagne color. Look at this, that's gonna be gorgeous. Um, that's probably all I need. A Little bit of green, we could do a little bit of green down for the, gla for the grass. I think that's good, okay. Ooh, this is gonna be good and pretty. I'm excited about all this glass. Let me turn this to you. Now, another thing I wanna say is, uh, you can probably tell that this is not level because I've got a little pad on my desk that is removable. I can just clean, make, makes it easy cleanup. So I will set this over on a shelf that is level and I set it on top of a couple of jars so that, you know, it's on two jars and that way if it's canvas, it can just run off the side. Never happens because I don't use that much resin. I don't like it to run off, but that's the recommended way to do it is have it up on something so it can run off. This does not need to be up on something, but it does need to be on something level. If it's not level, even in the least little bit, then you're gonna have one side that's you know covered well and this side will be uh, barely covered so it it looks terrible you won't want to sell it or give it so um, this is all glass that I buy broken but I do have some glass that I have broken um, but I use it more for larger pieces not for these so any other questions yeah, that champagne is going to be pretty. Okay, got your gloves on. And also, another tip is it's really the preferred way to have two cups and mark one resin, one hardener. But because I don't need that much for this project, um, I'm going to use one cup. If I was doing a larger piece and I needed more, obviously I need a cup of each and then pour it into a third larger cup. like the size of a Dixie cup or bigger, you know, so that you can stir it. But for this, one cup will work. You're gonna pour in your first item. So this, in my case, is hardener. I'm gonna go right up to the line. And you want it to be exact. You want exactly the same amount of each. So Typically, you'll have this on your level surface and, you know, look at it so you can be sure. But since we're doing this live and I'm not going to get down on the floor to make sure it's level, just we're going to assume that it's totally the perfect. And I'm, I'm trying to be really careful because you want it to work. You don't want all of this time and effort and then it not to set up correctly. So if I have the exact ratio, one to one, it will be perfect so use one put the lid on set it aside okay ah, I didn't even put my glass down I just I just went right into um, to stirring and I know Christy has my time she'll time me for three minutes exactly three minutes and right now it's cloudy can y'all see that it's cloudy uh, but after I'm done stirring it will be completely clear and you'll see okay yeah um, you stir just like this just kind of slow and easy do not whip it it's not cake it's not batter so don't whip it or you're gonna have a ton of air bubbles you want it to just be gently stirred 
you're going to be fine. When you stir something for three minutes, even if it's slow, it's going to be mixed well. Um, you like his eyebrows? Good, Melissa, thanks. And then every so often, take your stick and just get that resin back down into the mix and stir. And I'm taking my stick and going around the sides every so often and scraping the bottom. You just want all of it to be mixed well. Oh, that's good, Mindy. Glad to know. Is it is it off or is it still on sale? Um, I also highly, highly recommend you not touch resin of any kind, of any brand, until you've done your research. I have done my research. And for me, I have chosen the Art Resin brand. I think it's the safest that I can find. Now, um, it's probably been a year since I've done that research. There may be other kinds that are as safe. Uh, that I would feel comfortable with now but at that time this is what I found that was the safest I don't want to put anything in my home that could hurt my brain or my family's brain or my dog's health or our health you're breathing this in um, so it can be very bad for people you can research you can just google results from breathing in resin and see what has happened to people so don't take it lightly that's what i'm saying i'm not trying to scare anybody but i am trying to um, warn you that it's important to know what you're breathing and don't trust anybody <laughs> you know when you when you see people say oh yeah it's safe i don't even use a respirator okay good let me go research and be sure that that's true okay um, because and that goes for me you know I want you guys to be sure that you're comfortable using what we all recommend um, and I take it very seriously and I've tried to you know gently warn people when I see things I know are not safe um, but you know I, it's not it's not my place I just want everybody to be aware that you need to know what you're using and what's in your home and what people are breathing and all that let's see yes that's right melissa better to be safe than sorry for sure this is already getting clear i always know i'm kind of watching for christy to say stop when i see it start getting clear but again we're just kind of scraping off our stick and scraping the sides and all that Linda, no, I have a few kits on my website. Um, after August 31st, they'll be removed. Well, the resin will be removed and I will just be selling the kits where you can um, get the glass. And, you know, usually it's a canvas. Okay, thanks, Christy. Usually it's a canvas and the paint brushes, paint brushes, paint, uh, glass to put on it. So all you would need to buy is the resin. Um, and so going after August 31st, that's how it'll be on my website. Now, can y'all see that, that it's clear? I don't know if that will show you on camera. Um, I'm going to set this aside. I've now got about 30 to 40 minutes before this is not going to be usable anymore. You know, when I say not usable, it's going to start to get hard. So I do have time to go ahead and put my glass on here. Typically, I put my glass before I mix. I just was excited. Um, this is kind of what some of the crushed glass looks like. It's really, really pretty. This is what I do include in my kits because I most places don't sell it small. Most places sell large bags of it, and and I know that you guys don't usually want a large bag. Most people just want to try it, try and see if they like it, and then if they do and they want to sell it or something, then you're going to want to get a big bag. But until you know, so that's kind of what I do is just include a little baggie of it enough to do your project and you get to see if you like it. And you know, some people are totally hooked and like, yes, I'm adding glass to everything from now on. Uh, did you get the glass from Amazon? Yes, Trita, I did. I have uh, it linked in my Amazon store. So if you go to my web page or actually my website, which is linked here, do y'all see that link that I see? It says, thank you for following Art and Grace, and da-da-da, and then there's a link. 
and so when you go to my website one of the pages on there says my favorite art and craft supplies and it has an Amazon store link and you can get on there and look and see the one I use you don't have to order that one you can just kind of see what I use and then keep looking if you want to try to find a better price or something I'm just adding some of this down here to represent the grass and I typically put it like this I typically um, lay it down how I want it but you can dump it and we might dump it in as hooked yay it's so fun it just really makes your projects look so pretty I'll hold up a couple that I've done in just a second um, here's the brown it's so pretty I think it's probably not called brown but um, we could put some on the log if we want Sometimes I like to just do a few things and not everything, like, you know, but let me just look and see. Let's see. Yeah, it is, Michelle. You have COPD and use art. Yes, Mindy, and that's what I'm, that's why I chose it. I, I don't have it, but my mom did. My mom never smoked a day in her life, but she did have COPD. And, um, you know, I just know that as we age, we've got to be even more careful with our health. And I, I'm not taking any chances. I would rather spend a little more money. You can get cheaper resin. That's the thing. And that's why so many people choose other brands. But why? You know, our health, if you don't have your health, you can't do anything. You can't be there for your family or events. So I don't know if I like this brown. I'm just going to kind of leave it here and we'll we'll decide but I wanted to put a little and see if I'd like it um, I usually don't like cover the whole thing I just sprinkle it on this is what I'm excited about this is like champagne color you'll see that oh so pretty so this is what I think is gonna really make this pretty and you can literally just sprinkle on however much you want whenever I sell it I give you enough to do the design that is pictured so if you you know wanted to buy a kit but you were like hey can you give me more of the blue just send me a message and we'll you know add it to it but um, but I just give you enough that you can do what I did with it I'm thinking about do we want blue on the wing or just put some clear I was thinking about clear I do kind of take this and turn it over but you could just totally dump it and not worry about it if you want to oh Marty I'm the resin uh, what do you call it like addicted <laughs> I'll tell you who I think the resin queen is Art Shattered. I started really deciding I got to do this, watching her. She's fantastic. It's Cindy Manley with Art Shattered. And, um, and she came and taught inside our group. That's another thing we do in the Art and Craft VIPs is we have guest artists because I'm not an expert in everything. And so I like to bring people in who are and... Uh, just let them teach and oh we just love it we have so many great presenters that come in and we did do them on my regular page this month only because we're celebrating but after this month they will only be in the VIP group when they come in so that's another fun thing we do so yeah I like this clear on the wing and it just lets the colors show through what do y'all think Y'all liking how it looks? And, you know, again, you can put as much or as little as you like. I tend to do it about just like this, just kind of sprinkling it through so that some of the art shows through. But if you don't love your painting, um, using the glass just covers up the things you don't love, too. So there's kind of several things about it that that you'll like if you don't like doing glass you know you don't ever want to do resin then just do the painting and stop you know 
So I'm just adding that champagne color out here where the rest of the owl is. Like that. Oh, yes, Diana. I feel responsible to you guys. Like, I don't... I don't have a business without you and you're important to me and your health is important to me and I cannot stand when um, when people don't do their homework before teaching to a big group of people um, you know they may find out one day but are they gonna go back and and put that on every video they ever spoke on no so yeah I feel very responsible I keep up with art resin as well, so if any changes or anything comes out, I'm aware. Okay. I think I do like a couple of pieces down here on his little legs. How we doing on time? I know sweet Tracy said not to worry about it, but I sure don't want to go over just by chit-chatting and this is a real good lesson for you guys, um, kind of going from start to finish with a painting and then the art, the glass art on top. Oh, this is nice. I always include a little stick and a toothpick, but if you have a little tool, sometimes it's helpful to move them around to get them where you want them. Again, you can just dump them and not try to make them neat like I do. There's different ways to do this. Yes, Cynthia, you painted with me today? You're on fire if you did. You have done so much amazing things. How is Jerry? Yeah, Mindy, doesn't it? Oh, good, Denise. Sometimes, okay, 145, Lisa. Lisa's next. Awesome, Brown Eyed Girls Crafting. Um, how are you feeling and how's Jeff? How's Jeff's daddy, all the things? Oh, good, Deb. Okay, thanks, Melissa. Um, what time did Lisa say? 1.45. Oh, yeah, we're great. Okay. Let me fix this. Um, okay, I think we're ready. What do y'all think? You think his head needs it? I didn't really think so, but what do y'all think? Do y'all think his head needs it? Do you want to see it on there? Yes, that's true, Christy. What do you think, Christy, on the... Head. should we sprinkle I'm gonna get these bigger chunks out of the way I know I don't want any big ones on there if the surface area is small I want small chunks so I'll take out any of the larger ones and just use the smaller ones and there will be other designs I do where I want the big ones and not the small ones let's just sprinkle a little and see what we think y'all I don't think I'm gonna like it but you never know until you try like Char says so we'll we'll give it a go and just see what we think but you know I feel like it's gonna look kind of weird because I really like his little face I don't really want to cover it up but we'll see I won't know till I try it so y'all let me know what you think the feathers between the eyes oh that's a good idea I like that idea now that I can do see you need you need people because they have better ideas they can see things y'all can see this better than i can you're at a better angle anyway and i will also kind of pick out pieces that are kind of pointed maybe just eyes and beak tweezers are also another good thing to have I use I got these on Amazon in a kit with a lot of other things so they're longer they're not just like you know eyebrow tweezers but um, tweezers to pick up and move glass sometimes is very helpful so if anybody paints this little owl please show me I you do not know how much joy I get from seeing your paintings and designs and what you do with it I have a group a free group called art and craft showcase that's the best place to put your pictures you can show me what you're doing 
Um, but you can, you know, if you're in the VIP group, I always tell them just, just post it, just post away. You know, I want to see whatever you're doing. We also do a gift card giveaway every month. So anybody who paints one of my designs or makes something that I make or one of the guest crafters or artists, um, then they're in the drawing as many times as they do it for a giveaway and it's a $20 Amazon gift card. So you, you get your money back that month if you win. Because it's just 18 a month. Okay, I think that's good. I probably could find a good piece for the beak if I really wanted to. Oh, y'all, that's perfect. Look at the beak. Can y'all see this? Can y'all see the beak? I don't know if you can. Hi, Janice from Tennessee. I know, Donna, it does. I hate to cover it. Do you like that on the beak? Okay, Marty says, perfect to just have a few. Okay, so here we go, guys. This is the fun part. Uh, well, that was the fun part to me, but uh, we've stirred this. It's done for three minutes, totally good. Okay, good. And I'm just gonna drizzle this over every single piece of glass. So just drizzle, drizzle, drizzle. Once I see that it's touched the pieces of glass, then I move on to the next section. I want just a, a dot of resin is all I'm worried about on every single piece of glass. I don't want there to be one piece of glass that doesn't have a drizzle on it. And what that will do, that resin will drizzle down and touch the surface, whatever it is you're, you've got under, in this case it's wood, and that uh, piece of glass will not move once it starts to cure. And so that's what I'm wanting. I don't want, you know, any movement. I've got them where I want them. So I'm just drizzling over each little piece. And then once I know each piece has been touched, I can use the rest to just pour over the rest. And it's not hard to tell, like I can tell now, I'm just kind of going back over, but I can tell I've got every single piece is covered. And I'll hold this up, maybe you can see. I don't know if, I don't think y'all can tell, but every piece is covered. So now we can just uh, pour this kind of in the other areas and it will self level so as it sits on a level surface, the resin will just move around the piece and spread out. I don't mean move around like mobile, but you know, it just oozes out and spreads out and will cover the rest of it. So I will take this stick and help it so that, you know, I can know that it's all good and covered. So I do try to use every drop that's in this cup and get it out onto the piece. And I also use one of these little scrapers from the Dollar Tree. People buy them in the makeup area to use for facial masks. And this is a fantastic, because it's silicone, so very easy to clean. And this is the perfect spreader. See how it just spreads it out perfectly? And I do want it to touch the sides and cover the background. You can kind of lift some up like a spatula and move it down here and then help that to spread out. So this is like literally a dollar twenty-five, and I've used it for months and months. And after I'm done, I just wipe it with a paper towel, and every now and then I'll take alcohol and wipe it off real good to be sure, you know, there's no cakiness or anything. But the silicone items are perfect to have for this because they clean really easily. Y'all still with me?
Thank you, Doris. Hi, Lisa. How are you, girl? How are you able to type? I've wor worried about, not worry, but prayed for you, and I know that you've got to be in pain. Lisa had some carpal tunnel surgery. We have a lot of friends who've had surgery or issues and definitely need our prayers. So I'm just, you can see, I'm just working it into the different spots and being sure everything's covered. And then it will finish and kind of finish spreading out. But this way I can be sure when I set it aside, it is not going to look weird it's all going to be covered and oh this was a perfect this worked out perfectly i'm sorry that our friend was feeling bad today but i'm glad that you guys got to see this um with the glass and watch a few you know I've got a lot of tutorials on Facebook and YouTube and like I said go look at Cindy with Art Shattered and um, you know before you invest in any of this be sure that you like it and want to do it and be sure you've read about the safety and um, Art Resin has the safety data sheet of course all of them should have them on their website but you can read about it I have a fan going and if it was cooler I would definitely have my window open even though this smell does not bother me and I do get migraines from smells so if that tells you something you know it's really not a strong smell at all uh, but if you're at all worried about it do wear a mask you can get a respirator even um, I've not looked into that but or of course, if you have health issues that you are concerned about, you know, maybe resin's not something you want to mess with. Just, just stick with the painting then. Just moving a little bit down here. Okay, I think I've got it all covered. But what I do now at this point is uh, hold it up in a different, so I'll kind of turn it and be sure. So once you start turning it, you can see and I do see, I don't know if y'all can see this spot, but I do see a spot that didn't get any right in here. So I am going to kind of move this around and bring it in and be sure all that is covered. Lisa, if you answered me, I'll go back. I promise, guys, I'll go back and read all your comments and answer any questions and, and all the stuff. I enjoy seeing what y'all said. Nine times out of ten, I don't get very many ugly comments. I, I know most people get more than me. I get just every now and then, you know. It's kind of funny because... I'm not going to change, you know, it'll be like, usually it's, you talk too much, quit saying hi to everybody. Well, this is my page, and these are my friends, and I'm going to say hi to my friends. I'm not going to not say, I can't, I have to, so I'm sorry if I'm not, that's why I say I'm not for everybody. That's okay. Okay, so we're good. Y'all can see, can y'all see how pretty... Let me see if I can get this light on it. Can y'all see a little bit maybe? So this will continue to level out as I set it on something uh, level over here on my shelf. And I will show you the finished product tomorrow. I will cover this. Let me see if I have my little, hold on guys. I can reach it. I got it, I got it. This is something I found like at, um, was it TJ Maxx or Ross? Uh, and it was like four or five ninety nine. It was real cheap, but they do have these sometimes at Dollar Tree. Of course, they're 
plastic and cheap but I had one for a long long time and it worked great so if you see one at the Dollar Tree grab it um, but this will cover it perfectly so that I can see in it and just kind of check on it if I want to and then lift it off tomorrow but that will keep uh, you know if you get a fly in your house or you have dog fur flying around or anything that will keep it from hurting your project because I'll be honest, I had a fly land in one one time and it I chunked it. I mean, I could have probably dug it out and re-resined it, but I was so grossed out. I was like, nope, chunked it. So um, yeah, that's okay, Carol, don't worry. And um, you know, maybe you wanna purchase one of mine or maybe you'll win one of mine and you can have one, but not have to do it, right? So, oh, thank you, Sandra. I know, Patty, thank you so much. I think the glass just does take it over the top. It's not for everybody, so I totally get that, but it is really fun to do. And um, I'll kind of peek you down. You see, uh, we've got blue bonnets and flowers. There's a sunflower on the bottom shelf. I've got a watermelon and a peacock. And, oh, the little witch coming out of the cauldron. And then some more flowers. So. Um, we have, um, oh, and there's a pumpkin back there. Do you see the little pumpkin right there? There's a Mackenzie Childs kind of wannabe check inspired piece back there. Um, but I love adding the resin. I don't do it to everything, but it is, it's really fun and it kind of does bring it up. So this will be beautiful hanging on the wall when it's finished. And I will show y'all the, you know, the finished product tomorrow so come look for a picture join me tomorrow at seven if you're available just set your alarm now and hi Brecky. and um this that is for uh are you following me and you'll see that event on my page and and other people are posting about it thank you claudia thanks linda thank you doris thank you for every star for every comment for every sprinkle appreciate it now if you press you know go to the description of this video you can click on craft around the clock and go watch the next presenter which is Lisa I'm super excited to see her hi Vanessa thank you guys so much I know I missed a lot but I'll I'll go back and and read your comments oh Vanessa thank you for the stars I appreciate it you guys are awesome so have a great day have a wonderful afternoon and I will see you next time I hope be sure you're following me if you're not thanks guys bye